Welcome to Will It Work, I'm Kevin. I think, and I don't want to say it too loudly, but I think this is the last, at the time of recording, the last Jack specific unit I have uh, in my collection. Uh, now that doesn't necessarily mean it's the last one I'm going to post, because I do post these things out of order, uh, but uh, it's, it's probably, you know, if you're looking at this, it's probably very close to the end here. Uh, definitely the last one I think I have on hand and so uh, it's another motion control type of deal you can see from the picture you wear this thing on your arm it has this trigger operated joystick uh, and um, looks like it's got a little d-pad here and a couple of buttons probably it's just like menu options um, but it's um, in this packaging which tells me that it's yeah it's a motion video game your moves control the game and uh, games built inside the web sling controller. Over 12 adventures. Let's take a look at the back here. We're not going to play this because um, it's still sealed. Square off against the dreaded green goblin, challenge the mighty rhino, prevent Mysterio from stealing bioweapons, knock Vulture off his rooftop perch. So, um, yeah, probably one of the last ones that, uh, you know, Jax did. Um, with these plug-and-play TV games, they had all the joysticks. They went towards this motion controller thing, and you know we've seen um, Phineas and Ferb, Buzz Lightyear, SpongeBob. This one we also looked at, um, but didn't play the Tinkerbell one. And I think there was one other one, but either way, um, yeah, last one from Jack Specific. We've been on a long road with this game console collection of mine been looking at this for about a year and a half there's been a jack specific just about every week when i posted stuff up so um they sure did release a lot of mini consoles didn't they my god but um rock on spider sense spider-man webmaster thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one